Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. Fragments of Memory, Raymond Ruben Berberian. Where Mount Memorut is situated. The Treaty of Severus, a new page in the struggle of the Armenian people, Ashot Hayatunyan. The Sons of Western Armenia, Andri Vernoy. The Partitura and Claver of Comitas has been published. Tennis player Elina Avanesan achieved her first victory under the flag of Armenia. One of the impregnable fortresses of one kingdom of Oshakan, Khajak Sirekanyan. A passage from Raymond Ruben Berberian. Every member of our large Western Armenian family in exile, children and grandchildren in the Turkish Sea thinks that hurt them. Some of them rebel and they are right. Others are more reticent that tend to be prudent in any case and they are right. Historians are right, religious and political figures are right, and I, as a dreamer and a poet, am also right. But we all have pursued a thousand different goals, trying together or individually to overcome the dense nebula of 108 years ago. We have lived in exile for 108 years like ambassadors without the portfolio of our roots and culture. But we have earned the respect of the whole world so that this unique world will think about our problem and stand in solidarity with our demand. The Turkish state not only committed a shameful genocide against our people, but also erased the memory of Armenians from the minds of our population, despite the fact that we are the true indigenous people of this region. I demand that the Turkish state be held accountable for its actions against humanity, against our families. The genocide committed against Armenians should not go unpunished. The Turkish people must recover their historical memory and recognize their true history, not the one presented to them by the authorities in Istanbul and Ankara. They should know that the holy mountain Ararat, as well as the seven Armenian provinces of Van Erzurum, Harbert, Bitlis, Tigran, Aker, Sebastia, and Trabzon, which were occupied by the Turkish state, don't belong to them. They should also know that both Nakhichevan and Artsakh historically belong to Armenia and that the superpower of the Soviet regime awarded these territories to Azerbaijan. In fact, Turkey was conquered from the Armenians who lived in that region for more than 7,000 years. Their recognition as an identity among other nations of the world depends on Armenians. The killing of one person is a crime and the destruction of one and a half million people is genocide, a crime committed against all humanity. Raymond Ruben Berberian. Mount Nemrut is a tourist destination located in the Adiyaman province of Western Armenia and is famous for its fascinating sculptures. This mountain, known for its historical and cultural wealth, is also an important archaeological site. The which status on the top of the mountain belongs to the ancient kingdom of Komagen. In the middle of it is the statue of Aramast, the main god of the Armenian temple, on one side of which are the statues of Aramas, San, Mihri, and Vahagan. On the other side, the statues of the goddess of Komagen and Antiochus I. The king is pictured with an Armenian Tigran crown. The memorial complex is a hill artificially built with small stones without mortar with a height of about 50 meters, on both sides of which there are identical groups of statues, picturing the gods, the king and his ancestors. Experts compare it with the Egyptian pyramids, uh, with its architectural complexity, and many scientists consider it the eighth wonder of the ancient world. Mount Nemrut is one of the least of UNESCO World Heritage. On the occasion of the 104th anniversary of the signing of the Treaty of Severus after the end of the Zoom meeting, the chairman of the Shushi Patriotic Union historian Nashot Hayatunyan gave an interview during which he presented his views and assessment regarding this important event. Mr. Hayatunyan emphasized that this initiative is essential to remind the international community and our compatriots about our historical rights and the role of the Treaty of Severus. He mentioned that the Treaty of Severus in the current geopolitical conditions can turn into an influential document if the Armenian people have a strong national power and unity. Hayatunyan also added that the possibility of new military conflicts in our region requires looking at the reality with cold eyes and struggling for the rights of our people with clear steps. Thus, according to Ashut Hayatunyan, the Treaty of Severus remains at the core of our national consciousness as a guide and driving force towards the revival of our people. 
47 years of a film career has been a wonderful adventure and I am grateful to all the people I have worked with and who have made me successful. Henri Vernoy. Real name Ashot Melakian was born in 1920 in the city of Rodosto, which was located in Western Armenia. His parents fled their homeland, escaping persecution in the new Turkish Republic formed on the ruins of the Ottoman Empire. The city received a new name, the Gildag. Later, Henri Vernoy became a renowned film director in France. His films won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival and the American Academy Award Oscar. Ernoy worked with some of the greatest actors of his era, including Anthony Quinn, Yul Brunner, Henry Fonda, Jean Gabin, and Charles Bronson. His most recent film works were the film Myrick, with the participation of the famous Omar Sharif and the film Parade Street House 588. Both films were based on his childhood memories. The film Myrick is known as the best featured film about the genocide against Armenians. On the initiative of Yerevan Municipality, the Partitura and Clever of Comitas has been published. It will be provided to cultural organizations of Armenia and Diaspora, Music and Art Schools, Children's Squares. It is announced by the press service of the municipality. The municipality strives for this initiative to contribute to the preservation and restoration of the musical heritage of Comitas and these publications will enable cultural and educational organizations to further study and analyze Comitas music. The event is planned to greatly contribute to the international recognition of Armenian culture, which will be justified by the wider spread and appreciation of Comitas art. Tiny one-year-old Elina started the WTA 1000 tournament in Cincinnati with the victory. Tennis player Elena Avanesian took part in an international tournament for the first time after changing her sports citizenship from Russia to Armenia. In the qualifying round of Cincinnati, Open, the athlete defeated the American rival in two sets and reached the final. Elena will play against British Harry Dart in the final qualifying round. The tennis player ranks 58th place in the world. Researcher of historical materials Hajak Sirekanyan published photos and wrote on his Facebook page as follows. One of the impregnable fortresses of the Kingdom of Van, which is situated in Oshagan village of Aragatsotan region, 9th, 7th centuries BC, during the period when the Kingdom of Van was a significant political and military power in the region. The castle was built on a strategic location to protect the surrounding areas and control important routes. Oshagan Castle, with its powerful walls and strongly fortified position, made it an impregnable defensive structure. This was all for today. Goodbye.